Gregor, breaking news. Mark Hershey, the revelation of the 2020 road season has left DSM, formerly known as Team Sunweb. We don't exactly know why, or maybe we do. You've been doing some reporting around this. Um, but first, just a little bit of backstory, of course. Mark was a star at the Tour de France. Uh, the former under-23 world champion nearly won stage two, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Julian Alaphilippe. He went on to stun us throughout the Tour de France in breakaways, nearly winning stage nine, coming good finally on stage 12. And then that uh, just brutal crash when he was in a breakaway with Richard Carapaz and Mikhail Kwiatkowski. After the Tour, still a man on incredible form, winning Flesh Wallon and earning that bronze medal at the World Championships. He very might have won Liege Bastogne Liege, except for the hijinks by Julian Alphilippe in the sprint. You've been talking to people. What do they have to say? Yeah, I've been on. Good evening, uh, Ian. This is late breaking news here in Europe. And it's also early already in the 2021 season, January 5th. And normally you don't see a move like this happen so late. So I, I called around to try to find out some news on this young Swiss rider, 22. He was 21 last year, remember that, and had such an impressive season. Really surprised all of us uh, with the way he's ridden. And apparently, like Ineos, Jumbo, Visma, these top teams were after him, but they just had no space. But apparently it's down Quebec Assos and UAE, and apparently UAE is, uh, has, has won the, the courtship, and he could be going there. We could see the announcement, but the, the hook will be that he needs to wait one month because talking to one agent who, uh, who what's that me here tonight, he was saying that the, the process with a contract, when they're breaking a contract, because he broke a contract one year early, he still had a year left in his contract, with uh, DCM, DMC, excuse me, I forget the, the new name of Team Sunweb. So because they terminated the contract, he has to wait till he's out of contract uh, one month and then they'll be able to announce it. And the news is that, yeah, it's, it's going to be a contract around 2 million at uh, Team UAE Emirates, where the team is, of course, getting together, as we heard, uh, in the Emirates, and they're all getting vaccinated uh, uh, with the coronavirus vaccine. So it's good news all around there as well. So he'll be joining a team that includes Rui Costa, U Ulisi, those guys for the Ardennes Classics. And remember, as you pointed out, this uh, young rider has won Flesh Wallone, second in Liège, best still in Liège. So it could be a big coup for UAE. Team Emirates, if this is proven correct, uh, but I'm hearing from several different sources that it is the case and the strongest sources coming from uh, the Dutch media. And so they're saying that the, the deal with Quebec Assos was, was, uh, was almost going to happen because remember his agent, Hershey's agents, uh, the former classics champion, Fabian Cancellara, and uh, Cancellara is also an ambassador for BMC Bikes, the bike sponsor for Quebec Assos. And also Hershey knows well the CEO uh, and he's sponsored by this watch brand that uh, is linked to Quebec Assos, but that deal didn't go through. And uh, we can imagine that uh, UAE Emirates, in addition to the contract value, they're going to be paying, helping him pay his uh, fee for breaking his contract because what we'll never know uh, is what went on behind the scenes when Hershey uh, broke his contract with the team uh, formerly known as Sunweb, Ian. I reached out to my friend on the team formerly known as Sunweb, Chad Haga. Uh, I actually broke the news uh, to Chad Haga. Uh, it, was, it was news to him. You know, just like everybody, he was guessing that money was at the heart of this decision, but he did, he did say that he could say that Mark Hershey was on the logistics plan for the um, Team Subweb, now DSM, training camp uh, as soon as New Year's Eve, uh, just last week. So uh, whether or not this has been in the works, in the background with the team management for some time, uh, it's certainly, the, the rumors uh, were, were kept pretty, pretty, held pretty tightly up until news just broke a few hours hours ago. You know, I, I, my take is that this is 
this is normal operating procedure for uh, Team DSM, uh, Team Sunweb. They have, you know, brought, seen a lot of riders uh, break contracts. Marcel Kittel, uh, Warren Barguil, after he won two stages of the Tour de France and the King of the Mountains jersey. Tom Dumoulin and most recently Michael Matthews. You know, this is a team that is not a big budget team, but does punch well above its weight. I mean, winning three stages at the Tour de France and, uh, you know, captivating fans during the Tour de France uh, with their attacking style of racing. So that money that they're going to get is going to go into identifying the next Mark Hershey or Mark Hershey's and bringing them into the fold. So yeah, certainly a loss for this team next year, but I will guarantee you two or three years down the road, uh, there will be some other uh, former under-23 world champion, uh, junior world medalist, uh, now on Team DSM, that will be uh, stunning us uh, here into the future. I think it is uh, really just part of their business strategy, and they wished Mark uh, good luck on his next endeavors, and uh, the contract is, is terminated immediately. Yeah, Ian, that's a very good point. They're going to get a lot of money uh uh, for the termination, early termination of his contract. And that brings to mind a team like Team Androni with Johnny Savio. He operates on this same sort of concept. Remember, he has discovered writers like Egan Bernal, Ivan Sosa, and then sold those guys off to Team Ineos for big chunks of change that's funding his second division team, Pro Continental team. Uh, so, because when he signs those guys on at Team Androni, he signs them on for long contracts, knowing that they'll have to break their contract and there'll be a fee that they'll have to pay to break that contract. Now, some of that comes uh, from the team uh, that's signing the rider, and a lot of it could come from the rider himself. Uh, I remember speaking with Cadell Evans, who broke his contract with, with Lotto back in the day to join team, B, team BMC, and he took out a loan to cover that fee just so he could change teams. So it's a big amount of money probably involved, but as you point out, that money will go into discovering the next Hershey or Hershey's. And Hershey would be joining a team with Matteo Trenton, a new signee there at UAE Team Emirates, more focused for the Cobble Classics, but also could transition to some of those Ardennes. And then Hershey would be a good go-to guy for, for taking him to some of the Grand Tours, of course, like the Tour de France, where we saw him blossom this year. Yeah, you've got to wonder what this means for Mark Hershey and uh, Team UAE Emirates in terms of moving forward. To me, it's actually a great fit. I mean, this is a team with a lot of young talent. Jasper Philipson for the sprints, uh, Tade Pogacar, obviously for for the Grand Tours, ostensibly well into the future. Mark Hershey has that Julian Alaphilippe uh, type. Um, you know, ability. He can sprint, he can climb, and he loves to go on the attack. I mean, he is a, has become one of the top classics riders in the world, and he can also ride the cobbles. You know, I could certainly see him uh, winning the Tour of Flanders like we almost saw uh, Julian Alaphilippe accomplish this year. So uh, it does fill a role that UAE needs in trying to uh, build out a stronger classics roster, and then who knows? I mean, I think the sky is kind of the limits for Mark Hershey in terms of what he can achieve and, and whether we will see him be a, a stronger stage racer, a grand tour rider. So obviously an incredible pickup and a, a very sought after rider, a, a big land by UAE. And um, yeah, interesting that Quebeca Assos was, was in the running for this signing, but obviously UAE, a, a much a higher profile team. Well, with bigger budgets, uh, for sure, because we saw a lot of those Quebecer riders uh, join other teams this offseason when it looked like the team could be folding. I think that we'll hear something uh, soon coming out, uh, more confirmed rumors, because uh, as you pointed out, the UAE team Emirates is meeting in uh, the Emirates there, and they'll be getting their, uh, their vaccination as well. And uh, it'll be obvious if Hershey's there, we'll start to see some things on social media. So we may not need to wait a month. Uh, of course, we may need to wait, wait a month for the official news to come out, but we, we should know something more in the coming days when Hershey joins Pogachar and, 
and uh, these top riders, as we talked about uh, there in the Emirates. So a big signing in these cold winter months, and it just brings a lot of excitement as we're looking ahead to 2021, and I can't wait. Appreciate your reporting on this, Gregor. And in closing, I just have one uh, personal remark to add. Thank goodness he is not going to Team Ineos. There you have it. <laughs> they only have so much money. <laughs> Talk to you later.